If I was gonna start quilting with just simple straight line quilting across this quilt, I want those lines to be straight and I want them to remain straight across the entire quilt. So what I've learned over time in the six years that I've been quilting, <laughs> I know it's not that long, but um, what I've learned over time is that everybody has a tendency. And some people, when they sew a line, they veer to the right. Some people veer to the left. And then there are those lucky few that actually can stay straight. <laughs> I'm not one of those. I'm a veer to the right person. So in order to prevent us from, you know, that tendency appearing on our quilt, I like to establish first, and I need to be able to see to tear this tape off, so we need those glasses. Alrighty, now we've got it started. I'm going to establish a baseline, okay, and that's going to be the first straight line on my quilt. And I'm going to use a ruler on this small piece to establish that baseline. And I'm going to tear a piece of tape just a little bit longer than my quilt. Glasses again. And I'm gonna establish that first baseline right along my ruler. And painter's tape is great because it's low stick and it's not gonna leave any gooey residue on your quilt, which is really nice. I'm gonna tear off these little ends. Now I've established that first baseline that I can put my first quilting line on. But you know what, one line is not enough. Because with one line, I'm gonna, as I move across my quilt, guess what happens? I'm gonna veer <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna establish a second line, which I call a registration line. So I'm gonna line up and for this little piece, uh, about three inches out. I'm gonna line up my ruler on the tape. So I'm gonna keep it, well that's too short, isn't this? <laughs> Let's make one that's long enough. There we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna establish the second line and that's gonna be my registration line. There we go. Let's move that out of the way. And so here's where I'm gonna start quilting. This is gonna be my first line, and I'm gonna start right in the center of my piece. And I'm gonna move from the center to the outside. But I have this registration line here, so I'm gonna to quilt towards it. And I'm gonna be able to watch myself approach this line. And you know, it's amazing over, so <laughs> I'll tell you a little story. So I quilted a quilt, it was about 60 by 80, started in the center, and I just quilted my lines merrily all the way to the edge. Well, that was before I really understood that I veered. <laughs> and I probably veered no more than a 32nd of an inch each time. Well, a 32nd of an inch over 30, five inches, that's a whole inch, and I got to the edge of the quilt, and there was no quilt left when I quilted that last line. And that's not what, how we want our quilts to look. So this is about four inches. And so as I approach that line, if I can see that I'm a little bit off, I can adjust just a tiny little bit and stay straight. And then this line's gonna come off and I'm gonna establish another registration line over four to six to eight inches, I can make little adjustments that when you look at your quilt visually, you're not gonna be able to tell that I'm moving over a little bit. But if I wait till the very end, I'm in trouble, right? So this is my baseline, this is my registration line, and now we're gonna move to the sewing machine and start quilting. So we have two lines, remember our baseline, and our registration line. So now it's time to start walking foot quilting. So I'm gonna put my presser foot down and I want you to notice that I have my edge of my presser foot lined up exactly against the side of my um, first line, my baseline. And I'm gonna run that presser foot right along there to keep a nice straight line. That's gonna be my first line. I don't have to pull up my thread because I'm out on the bobbin. So I'm just gonna quilt and watch my hands. So they're starting to get away from me here, aren't they? So I just stop and I bring my hands back and let's con continue quilting. We don't wanna let those hands get away from us. And if you feel confident, you can let your needle keep on going as you move your hands. 
But when I started quilting, I just stopped. Let that needle drop. Just stop, relax, take a breath, and continue to quilt. I'm keeping that edge of my presser foot right along that line. And I'm making a beautiful, nice, straight line. There we go. Cut that thread. Wait for my machine. <laughs> All right, let's look at that quilting. That's nice, right? It looks like a beautiful straight line. And I'm going to look down at the edge a little bit. I'm wondering, did I veer? Did I not? I don't really know at this point, so I'm going to quilt another line. So right up. And I'm going to run the edge of my walking foot this time right along my stitching line. This tape is done. It's been used to establish that first line, and so it's done. And now I'm running that right along that stitching line, right along that line. And I'm going to keep on going. And notice that I'm not going, you know, 20,000 miles an hour. I'm letting my walking foot do its work. And I'm going to keep on going. Do you see me moving my hands as I go? And we're going to cut that thread. There we go. Press the foot up. So now I've got two lines and I'm starting to move now towards my registration line. Moving towards my registration line. And, you know, I have this little tool in my sewing room. It's a hem gauge. Um, use it for garment sewing mostly. But I love when tools have multiple uses. <laughs> so I, um, I can watch myself in a couple of ways come towards this registration line. I can visually watch myself approach and I can look at how far the quilting line is from the registration line at the top, at the middle, and at the bottom. But I can also measure. So if you want to be really accurate, I can take that hem gauge and line it up right there against my stitching up to the registration line and I am one and three quarters right here. So let's see where we are in the middle. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. I'm a little bit off, aren't I? The one and three quarters here and I'm, I'm a tiny bit off. Whew. Yikes. Let's look here. I'm about the same in the middle and the, t and, the, and the middle and the bottom, but I'm a little different at the top. So I'm going to stitch one more line and I'm going to keep watching myself. And here I can adjust a little bit. I can adjust a little bit. So I'm going to keep on a going. I'm a little farther away here, so I'm going to just go a little tiny bit away from that line. And I'm going to stitch that next line. Remember I have the tendency to veer? I do. It's kind of a natural tendency that we all have. Some go to the left, some go to the right. But that's what that registration line is going to allow me to do, is stay nice and straight. And the closer I get to the registration line, that's where I'm going to make my adjustments. There we go. Cut. There we go have to wait for that sewing machine all the time. <laughs> so now I have three lines and I'm going to kind of hold this up a little bit so I can look at the whole thing. I can look at the whole thing and I can kind of see, you know, I, I just kind of visually watch myself approach that line or I measure and I make adjustments as I go. Let's see where I am here. One, I would call that one and a quarter plus one. One and a quarter plus one. And when I say plus one, it's just a little tiny bit more. And there I am, one and a quarter and a little bit more. So I'm, I'm skinnier at the top. And I'm the same in the middle. So I need to kind of veer back to the left. I need to veer back to the left. Veering is so my tendency, veering to the right. So I really need to watch myself and this registration line really helps me and I think it's going to help you too.